Hi, Pisces. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And this reading covers love, money, relationships. It's really what the cards want us to know. The cards tell the story. These energies and messages that we find in this reading can help you plan accordingly for the month. If you find this reading helpful, then please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my free daily, weekly, or monthly tarot videos. Okay, let's get started with your reading, Pisces, and your Celtic cross spread. Okay, Pisces. So in your current place, it's the judgment card. And in this judgment card, we see the people below rising out of their coffins, greeting the angel in the sky. And the angel is blowing the fanfare, almost announcing that it's time to rise. It's time to be reborn. It's time to get hold of and to get a sense of what you want to create and do with your life. The message with judgment is that it's a sense of thinking about your life. Are you leading it to your best um, and highest purpose? Are you doing the things that bring you joy? Are you doing things that bring satisfaction and fulfillment to your life? And with judgment, you have to take that tally you have to do the work within and ask the questions. Have my actions led me to where I am now? What can I do from this point forward to change the course and to find my highest purpose, my highest self? And with judgment, you know, it's never too late. It's never too late to chart your, a different course and to find redemption and to find satisfaction from what you do within your life. So at your very heart, you're having these, these thoughts about what am I doing? Where am I going? Am I living the life that I really want to lead? And crossing you is the high priestess. And this is feminine energy. She has a cool, silent kind of vibe. Uh, sexual, I think, in nature. I think she's kind of a, uh, a mystery. And so with the high priestess, this is about uh, honing in on your intuition, your inner voice, your dreams, paying attention to your subconscious. What is it trying to tell you? Are you getting messages about your life purpose, about what you want to accomplish? This is why the high priestess turns up and saying, you know, you need to really look a little closer, look around you at what's happening you have some mysteries down below, and if you don't start dealing with them and thinking about them, they're never going to come to the surface. You may have hidden talents that you have, that you're just keeping, keeping out of sight, because maybe it's a confidence issue. But you know, when you are able to take time for yourself to think and to reflect, and to be passive and to be still away from the busyness of life, then you can do some deep reflection and you can think about what's going on within your life and um, of how your dreams and how your psychic uh, flashes that come in and out, how do they really uh, impact you and what story is, are those messages trying to tell you? So if you've been thinking about getting out of your boring job, to do something that's more exciting or something that you've always dreamed of doing and maybe it's becoming an artist or making cool pottery and you know you just feel stuck with judgment it's a sense of 
finding a way and thinking about how you're going to reach your best purpose. And with the high priestess, it's a sense of listening to your intuition, trusting your intuition. Sometimes there's a sense of this mystery and secrets involved with the high priestess, but you know, it's the well of secrets that you keep within. And again, in your foundation, it's the magician. And the magician is about manifestation. It's about creation. It's about having all of the elements, the resources that you need. And you have skills, you have learned to do things. You've learned to do certain things very well. What do you want to do with them? And if you sit and dream about it all day long, nothing's going to happen. The magician is really about having the faith in yourself to create the life that you want and to make a plan. Get going on it. If you need to get out of your boring job, then start making your five goals a day. Start with your vision board. Start with where you want to be. Think about what your life is going to be like when you are in that position of power of building the life that you want. The magician is telling you to have the faith in yourself, the faith that the universe is going to give you what you need to go out there and to create. And again, in your recent past, you have the two of wands. We see this man, well-dressed man, sitting on his patio, one hand on the wand, another hand on the globe, looking out over the water towards the mountains. This is a card of decisions, of exploration, whether you are traveling, world traveling, or you are thinking of a new enterprise, a new project, a new career, a new relationship. This is a choice that you have to make. Are you happy? Are you feeling that you have to stay where you are? Or are you going to be able to be in a position where you can decide to leave what's behind and move forward and to move on and to enrich your experience? So these twos, and again, wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have what's crowning you is the page of wands, a youthful energy. This could be, again, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius within your mist, or it could be uh, qualities that you would benefit from. So this page is has this youthful appreciation for knowledge, for doing things, for getting involved, for taking steps. Want to learn how to... Uh, fly a plane, then you sign up for a series of lessons. So it's this enthusiasm for life. It's an enthusiasm for what you do. It's finding the passion for what you do. And this crowning passion of getting involved relates to judgment and how you're living your life. And it relates to your decisions. And it's just further reinforced with the Three of Wands. And again, this is a portal card. This is about moving forward. You're either moving on to new enterprises, new relationships, a new location, a new job. You're either traveling. But the potential for you, Pisces, is that you are, you have some decisions coming up for your life, whether it's related to a relationship, whether it's related to your hobbies and the things that you hope to accomplish or it's related to career which is two is making choices making decisions three is explore exploring it's leadership it's setting the path setting the pace moving on and again holding on to the wands for support Where you are right now is your mind is on relationships. It's on love. So your judgment may be and your, your desire to move on or to create can be related to a relationship. If you are involved with someone, this is a deepening of a bond. This is a true emotional connection, physical attraction, uh, equality, it's the type of uh, relationship that is significant and can transform your life. 
often, again, there's decisions to be made. Is this going to be something that we make more serious? Do we get engaged? Do we get married? Or is it not working out? And I need to move on. So there's some, there's some new pathways here that I'm, I'm getting. There's manifestation. There's enthusiasm and passion. Whether it's relating to your career or your relationships, there's love. And love as a serious transformative event. And then we have the emperor. And the emperor brings a father figure, uh, brings uh, organization and structure. So there's a sense in your hopes and fears, there's some structure needed perhaps and of some good counsel. This could be someone that you need to talk to and get some good advice because this, he's a benevolent leader. He's pretty fair. He's experienced. It's like father figure. It's just listening to uh, someone who can give you good advice about what's going on, about whether or not you need to hang in there with a relationship, make it better, or do you need to explore new paths? Do you need to leave a relationship in order to create the career that you want? I mean, it's uh, nothing is ever easy in looking at life and relationships. And so that complication is always there. In your hopes and fears, uh, there's the hermit. And the hermit is an encouragement to you to go within very much in tandem with the high priestess, which is taking time out from the busyness of life, thinking about your situation, letting the light lead you to your own light, just taking a time away of, of isolating yourself and thinking about what you need to do to get to your highest purpose, to get to the relationship that you want, to have the career that you want. This hermit doesn't mean that you always isolate yourself and spend time alone, but perhaps it's what you need is that you need a little break and you need to have some passive still time to work out the things that are on your mind with respect to judgment. And in your outcome, you have the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is a card of duality. We see this nicely dressed merchant. He is handing out coins to one of the persons who's begging. There are two people there. So it's a card of what, who do you resonate with? Are you the person that is able to help others and be generous and be thoughtful with your time, with your money, with your praise? Or are you needing help? So this is a card about giving and receiving. Sometimes in relationships, you feel like you are doing all the giving and not getting what you need. Other times, you uh, have to ask for more love. You have to ask for more. So again, it's a card of duality. How do you, what do you see within this? And, uh, you know... I get a sense that there is, a, it's a sense of balance of, of what you're giving to a relationship, that you've been maybe giving all of what you have and it's, it's tiring. And uh, there's some big changes coming here or there's some decisions to be made that have important consequences to you. Manifestation, the man magician is a fabulous card. This wand energy of this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, passion, fire, doing things, getting things done. And also the emperor, I believe, is Aries as well. So uh, very interesting. Let's get some more information from the love cards and see what they're trying to tell us for you, Pisces, in November.
evolution, you realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. To evolve. Well, one evolves through using their intuition, thinking about their life, thinking about uh, what's really deep within. What do you really want? What is it that you're seeking? What's going to bring you joy and happiness? Evolution and um, uh, obstacles is, you know, the, the judgment card of this sense of being reborn, a reawakening, a fresh start maybe, of a change in direction. You know, a chance, a second chance, if you will, for yourself to create the relationships that you want, the, the relationships that evolve favorably and positively, that are giving equal amounts of give and take. Relationships, equal amounts of give and take. And back to the evolution, the evolution of, you know, time spent to reflect, to go within. And finally, let's close the reading with a card of a practice area or a theme to think about for November. Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Certainly in sync with the Six of Pentacles. And uh, opening your intuition. Opening your intuition. High Priestess. Receiving your intuition. Listening to the messages. Energy of the Magician energy of the two and three of wands and the page of wands. It's a lot of energy within this reading. There's a lot of passion. What a interesting reading for you Pisces in November. I hope that you will leave me a comment below about how November is going for you and if you found any of this helpful. Um, in the meantime, I hope that you have a great November. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. I love to read comments. I love to engage. So feel free to let me know what's happening in your life. And um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a great way to show support and stay connected. And I wish you the very best. Blessings to you, Pisces, in November. See you.